I'm here, so that must mean cheese toasty time. I forgot what one of those are. Um, but today, me and this guy, we're gonna have a ragamuffin cheese toasty. I think he'll be pretty tasty. So first we need to skin him. Um, so I've got some knives. Um, and then we need to, can we pluck him? Or no, if I'm skinning him, I'm going to pluck him. Then we'll probably take his, take his little limbs off and then just, just dice him up. It'd be lovely. I'm going to do that with some cheese. First thing to do, wash hands. Um, in all seriousness, what am I doing? Right, so, onion. Got some bread that we prepared earlier and some butter. What else? Pretty simple this time, easing myself back into it, not trying anything too adventurous. Gruyere cheese. I saw this recipe on Instagram. It looked really nice, just looked really cheesy. What more do you want? I need to cook the onions for like 25 minutes, and then mix it with cheese, chuck it in some bread, griddle it, serve it. So, I, what am I gonna do? I have forgotten how to do this. I'm gonna balance here on a box of lemon and ginger tea. Anyway, how have you been? Good? Good. What the recipe doesn't tell me is how much onion I need. So I'm gonna just do one very large onion, probably cook it all, and then see how we go. So I recommend um, stopping when you've got a fuck ton of onion. Right, so I'm gonna put that on, leave it for about 20, 25 minutes, I think that's probably decent enough time. Grate some cheese, should leave me enough time to grate the cheese, uh, and then just assemble it. It's gonna be well easy. I just need to try and find somewhere to put you guys so you can be in the thick of it, in the action. On a Nutribullet, look at that. Good view, you've got a lovely view of the messy flat that we have behind us. That's a pillow. That's another pillow. Um, it's quite a good game in itself, this. Oh wait, uh, battery died. Yeah, so we're playing my new game. So, chair, gramophone, uh, cushions. Made my first mistake, I put oil in the pan to cook the onions instead of butter. So I, I make the mistake so you don't have to. I mean, even if I started cooking there, you still can't see it. That's better. Um, don't know how much butter because the recipe, say recipe, if it was a recipe, it would tell me how much. The video doesn't tell me how much butter, so. I'm going to just chuck the butter on the hob. Um, I like to put it on the hob first, just to give it that kind of oily uh, aroma that you have from last night's cooking. Then uh, scoop it off the hob, put it in the pan, let it there. I think I saw that on Jamie Oliver. Spatula. What is your toasty implement of choice? Leave a comment down below, and I'll leave a link to where you can buy this lovely used wooden spoon. Put your fuck ton of onion in. That's probably way too much. And what cook this for 25 minutes. So this is gonna be a very long vlog. So bear with. So while that's cooking, while your onions are cooking, I like to have a little bit of a cry. Um, it's just an emotional time. Um, have a little bit of a cry over your onions. Wait till you hear that sort of sizzling. Then move on to the cheese. Let the onions do their thing. If you uh, watch onions too much, you can overcook them. Um, they like to just get on with it in the background while you do other stuff. Quite arty, that. Just, just do regular onion skin. Um, discard that before you cook, I think. Uh, but leave maybe like a little chunk in the, in the end. Grater, cheese, plates. Put all those three together and I'll show you what you get, you get at the end of it. You're probably wondering about now how, how the onion's getting on. We haven't seen them for ages. Depends on Kate's editing, of course. She might have just cut from onion to onion to onion. This might be a complete onion mix. If you haven't, and you haven't seen them for a while. I'm looking like that. Now the video that I saw, they're kind of brown. We've got some butter in there to cook it, so stay tuned. You've probably had too much onion content, you're probably sick of seeing them, so you can watch me grate some cheese instead. Now you're probably wondering, oh, what side of the grater is he using? Because that's important. Well, I'll tell you, it's this one. It's the third biggest grating size. That's my grater of choice. Um, I don't tend to use that for parmesan, really. And for that one, I don't know what you use for that at all. This, um, I love to use this for just chopping nice slices of my hand off. But for cheese, this one works a treat. This is always my favorite bit after grating cheese. Perfect triangle, beautiful. 
beautiful, look at that. Just a bit of a colour check on the onions. Um, knew you were thinking about it. Getting a little bit better. That's not really the brown I wanted because that's just burnt. But uh, it's getting a little bit better. And we're going to mix the cheese and the onions together in that. Whip it up. Lather it on some bread. Fry it a little bit. More butter. Great. My stumbling block is always condiments. What do I serve it with? And naming it. <sighs> that's why we haven't done it for so long. I just refused. So I'm not naming cheese toasters anymore. Can't stand it. Uh, and, and you know, we were at a standstill for ages. She finally persuaded me. So I need to think of a good name. Okay, I've literally just been stirring onions for five minutes. Uh, so I've spared you that. I need to fill this vlog with something and give you more content, content, content. So you can watch me butter some bread. Yeah, lucky things. Uh, you actually missed that because the camera died again. So we've got another battery. This vlog's been going on for like two days solid. That's why I've got through so many. Um, but that's the end result. Doesn't look too surprising, I wouldn't have thought. Um, now, I kind of did want white bread for this um, from a loaf, but I've got sourdough. I'm not sure how sourdough is going to work uh, in a griddle pan. Might be fine. But if it's awful, um, not my fault. Bread's fault. I've got five minutes left. They're going quite nice brown now. We'll get it a bit browner. Mix it with the cheese and then, um, then you can come back and watch me griddle the sandwich how's that essentially this toast is just butter and cheese um if we've learned anything from lockdown from and watching master chef the professionals is that if you add butter to something it tastes incredible um it doesn't really matter what it is so we've been adding butter to everything and that's exactly what i'm doing here it's no secret no secret sauce anyone could become a michelin star chef just cook your regular chicken whatever chuck a bit of chicken in a pan just add like a whole tub of lure pack. It's gonna come out perfect. The moment you've all been waiting for, certainly I have. Onions in the cheese, then mix it. So you're gonna get a kind of like melty oniony, melty cheesy oniony mix. I'm not sure about the ratio of cheese to onion, right? I think almost I've done too little onion. Or actually probably too much cheese and too much onion because this is maybe for two. Um, so yeah, cheese toasties for days. Then what we're going to do is lather up. Put the mix on the bread. This is impossible to do with one hand. I don't know how vloggers do this. Okay, this is what it's looking like. If it will focus. Uh, pre going in the griddle. Butter the outside of the bread. It's not like your normal sandwiches where you butter the inside, then filling. Just remember, cheese toasties, back to front. Two fresh plates. Regular viewers of these cheese toasty competition will know that I like to use every plate, every implement, every tool in the kitchen to make my toasties. It's just, you know, I want to show them some love, I want to show them the respect they're due, and that means using as many things as possible. These are quite good because they steam it and melt the cheese. The last one I did in here didn't really work. It was just more of a cheese sandwich than toasty because the cheese didn't really melt. So, I'm gonna try this. A closer look, that's what it looks like. The flip, always dangerous. Um, only do this if you're a pro. Fuck, that looks good. To be fair, I think like one of these would have done the both of these. But, it's been a busy day. Ignore my appearance, but it smells so good in here. Mm, have you named it? It's gonna be... The butt of my baby. Because <laughs> basically, the only ingredient in this is butter. It might look like bread and cheese, but it's basically lots of butter. Oh no, this is so bad for us. <laughs> oh yeah, it's terrible. So I thought the coke could go quite nice. Oh nice. Yeah. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, look at that. Look at this good cheesy stringiness on that. First mouthful without ketchup, I'm going to go for it. Oh, this, this bread looks gorgeous as well. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's dirty. Dirty good. I think the sourdough over, overpowers it. Mmm. Reckon. Mmm. Mm -mm. No, I love the sourdough. Good lines. Great lines. Delish. Might be a bit old rusty at this, but scoring. We have aroma, technique, texture, fill, appearance, taste, and uniqueness. I feel like we got rid of one of them. Aroma. Smelt fucking great. Nine. It's all the butter, probably, doing that. No, it's onions. 
Yeah. But they were fried in butter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There is a cat that very much wants my last bit of toasty. <laughs> Maurice! <laughs> we didn't have him last time we uh, did a toasty oh, he's video. Away. He's been cleaning himself. Ew. Ew. Oh, what was it called again? What was it called? It was called the buttery baby. Texture. Oh, the texture was perfect because the bread was perfectly crunchy and the insides were soft with the cheese, but you got a little bit of bite with the onion. The only thing that would have made the texture different, I think, was like a dipping sauce. So you have a little bit cold as well as a bit hot. <coughs> not, you know, not ketchup. Just count. I know what you're saying. Yeah. So I'm going to say eight. Great. Phil. Great amount of fill. You were saying that you think there needed to be more onion. I think that yeah, there was a lot of cheese. There was so much cheese, but I think there could have been, there could have been more of cheese as well. I'm gonna say eight. I think it was a make a great amount. I think it could have done with more of everything, to be honest. No, I'm or just eight. smaller bread. I, oh, I I liked yeah. it. Okay, I cool. thought it was perfect. I'm okay. gonna raise that to a nine. Oof. Appearance are oh, look great looking toasty. Yeah, didn't it? The lines, the little griddle lines. lines. <laughs> griddle lines look great. Nice golden eight. view to it. Eight because the not no. burnt, not burnt at all. I'm going to say seven. There were no burnt bits. No, I'm saying seven though, what? because the presentation was a bit meh. To be fair, it was just a toaster on a plate. The toaster looked great, but the appearance wasn't my bone. I understand. Taste. I'm leaning towards an eight because it tasted really good. That's all you're asking. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need. Okay. <laughs> and uniqueness. I would say it's massively unique for a cheese toasty. You wouldn't. No, no cheese, no, it's cheese not. and onion, isn't it? It's cheese and onion, yeah. It's not not unique One. at all. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> no, that's fine. No, we say three because yeah, it's not you use gruyere. Gruyere. So can oh. you add that up for me? Forty-four. Congrats. Forty-four out of fifty. Uh, yeah. Mm, battery's going. Thanks for that. I'll see you next round. Toasty. Toasty time. Hey guys, welcome back to Cheese Toasty part two. So it's been about a week, might be a bit rusty, but, oh wait, let me get my ingredients out. Okay, so I really wanted to do a cheese toasty that had gherkins in because they're like my new favorite thing of 2020. I never liked gherkins before, but this year I've been loving them. And we've got through so many jars of these, so I was like, what goes well with gherkins? burgers so i'm going to be doing a cheese toasty cheeseburger with gherkins i think it'd be nice ingredients gherkins i thought i'd do a red onion got some mustard honey mustard this this is delicious butter obviously quarter pounders and then i got some cheese slices like the burger cheese and some cheddar. Oh, and then obviously toasty bread. On second thoughts, I should have really got Gouda, Gouda, Gouda. I feel like that goes really well in cheese toasty because it melts. So I'm not sure how cheddar will do, but oh, I'm hoping this will be nice. Let's prep everything. Let's get everything cut up and then we can get get to assembling. I've already come across my first hurdle in that I had the genius idea to like flatten the patties into a square so they fit the toasty perfectly. But I got frozen, <laughs> frozen burgers and I can't flatten them until they're cooked. So I think I'm gonna grill them and then maybe try and flatten them out. <laughs> I should have got fresh ones really. Or I should have made my own burgers with fresh mints, but I didn't. I have got this little one just watching over me, making sure I do everything right. What do you think about my toasty today, Ma Maurice? Hmm, yeah, I think it'll be delicious too. <laughs> no, my hair is not part of it. Maurice. I've chopped my onions. I've got them frying. And then gherkin wise, I didn't know whether to um, like just cut them into strips and lay them in, but I actually think cutting them into little cubes and spreading them out might be a bit better. It might give like little random crunch, crunchy bits in the toasty as well. So yeah, I'm gonna chop the gherks. It's interesting how our taste buds change when we grow up, isn't it? Because until 2016, I didn't like quiches. Quiches were a big no-no. I was like, what the fuck is a quiche? Don't, don't, I'm not interested in that. This year's the year of the gherkin. 2018 was the year of the omelette. Never, never really enjoyed omelettes before 2018. It's been like every year I seem to discover a food that I've previously hated. I'm not sure what, what there is left actually. Maybe oysters now is it? Oh, oysters and cucumbers are the only things now that I don't like. Let me know in the comments down below what 
What is your food? That is quite normal, but you're just like, yeah, that's gross. And does anyone understand what I mean about quiches and omelettes? I don't know, it might be an eggy thing, I'm not sure. But now I love them, love a quiche now. Love an omelette now. Like a Big Mac sauce, isn't it, this? Okay, very shortly I think I'm gonna be able to assemble. I have had a couple of fails with the grill, just fat spilling everywhere. The whole flat smells like burnt beef. And combined with the realization that um, two patties isn't gonna cut it. Like they're, they've shriveled up tiny. I tried to flat them out, but yeah, they're tiny. So I've stuck another one in and tried to flatten that out as well. So I'm a bit behind schedule because I had to grill another patty, but the onions are fried, everything's cooked, everything's prepared. Um, I've got two huge lumps of cheese. I've got my gherkins, I've got my onion cooling down. There's one thing I've learned from MasterChef The Professionals is that sometimes your hot ingredients need time to cool down. So I'm cooling my onions down. And I thought that if I put them in hot then they just might make the bread a bit soggy. Okay, I've popped on mustard. I'm gonna do a layer of burger cheese and then my burgers and then onions, gherkins and cheese. But it smells amazing. I think I grated too much cheese. Is there such thing as too much cheese? Maybe not. Maybe it needs more burger cheese on top. Okay, I think I'm ready. I think I'm done. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh. I've had an absolute disaster. They burnt, I burnt them. But this would never happen in a toasty machine. Oh my god, I'm so disappointed. Also, it, they're so full, they're like not sealing. <laughs> the, whole, the whole flat smells like burnt. Oh wow. <laughs> it's like a cheese toasty factory. <laughs> <laughs> and the presentation is shocking. <laughs> this is called the Jabberwocky. There you go, enjoy. Good name. I had a fail, look at that. Maurice is like, what's going on? Wait. So what have we got here? Wait, let's try it first. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. Cheeseburger. Mm. With mm. onions, gherkins, burger cheese, cheddar cheese, mustard. Mm. I basically was just wanted to do something with gherkins in it. <laughs> That's really good, babe. That is dirty. So the Jabberwocky, that was a beast and a half. Weren't it? Yeah. I can't I can't speak. Oh no. <laughs> aroma. Very meaty. A very meaty aroma. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what you want to hear ever. It's good. Got the taste buds going. Could I couldn't tell it was a toasty that was being made. I'll give you a five for the aroma. Texture. Bread nice and crispy. Then it was pretty stodge. Pretty stodge. But get a little bit of crunch of the gherkin. Bit of crunch of the onion. Six. This is not gonna go. Well. I think I could have done with more gher gherkin and more onion. I in agree. There. Yeah. I am um, put way too much cheese in that. Put a lot like, of cheese in there. I thought you couldn't get too much cheese in a cheese toasty. That was too much cheese. So yeah, I, I think that overpowered everything so much so that I couldn't, I couldn't finish it. <clears throat> you okay? You're struggling. <laughs> Seven on the fill. Mm. Appearance. Not your finest hour. Normally you're very good at mm. all the little accompanying touches. Mm -hmm. This was cheese toasty. It's on the plate. Five. Taste. Taste was good. Taste was good. It was definitely, it was definitely a burger. Ever so slightly too cheesy, but I reckon that was good taste. Give it an eight. But yeah, like I said, there was like Big Mac vibes in there, mm, and okay. that's a good taste. Uniqueness. Cheeseburger, just using a different bun. <laughs> <laughs> Six, seven? Six? Eight? Six. Nine. What? Six? No. Oh no. Oh no. 37 out of 60. Ooh. So, I'm very pleased to say that the Buttery Baby won this, this uh, rounds of cheese toasties. Yeah. She was good. She was very simple, and I feel like simple is the way to go. Mm. Was looking back, I I think I've won like one round. No way, you definitely. G, G is just, just the champion of cheese toasties. And because I always mark you down on yours. I've fa found someone in life in the whole of London who makes delicious cheese toasties week on week. If you have any ideas for cheese toasties for me, not for him, because I need all the help I can get, send me an Instagram DM with your ideas for cheese toasties because. I in desperate need of help, but don't send him any because he doesn't need it. I'm running out though because my last one was just cheese. 
Yeah, you are. Cheesing a bit of onion. That was my last cheese toasty. Well, yeah, we'll see you next week. <laughs>